As a Brooklyn community's edible panties all in a bunch. A local politician got the shop owner to tone things down, but still many people are not, shall we say, satisfied. Rob Hoyle reports from Sheep's Head Bay. <laughs> We first told you about Kama Sutra on Friday, the new sex shop on Sheepshead Bay Road. The window display was too much for many in the community, and Assemblyman Steve Simberwitz came to the rescue. He spoke to the owner and made sure some of the more offensive items were removed. Well, he was willing to comply, and he did make those changes last night. Glad about that? Of course. You know, uh, as long as um, he uh, is willing to work with us and uh, the residents of, of the community, then, then we have no complaints. Well, the complaints kept coming. Yeah, well, a lot of young people live in the neighborhood, and I don't think like I don't think it belongs here. I don't. Right. I really don't. Yeah. We tried to speak to the owner, but weren't able. Assemblyman Simberwitz was too busy today, but a spokesman said he would ask the owner to remove more of the remaining marital aids. Now, the sex shop only opened up five days ago, and some people say you got to give it a little time to fit into the neighborhood. Even some of the people that complained to us were a bit curious. We did catch a lot of people taking a closer look, and the two women we spoke with earlier actually went in for a while. What did you buy? I didn't buy anything. I did not. What did you have your eye on? On everything. Really? <laughs> so you like what you saw? Not bad. <laughs> some were not so good, but some were good. So what do you think now? I mean, being out Which, here, what, can the store live here? Can it stay here? I don't know. But I don't know, because there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood. What if they did scale back the window even more? The assembly uh, that's the problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Scale it but back more, it's okay? Maybe it would be okay for people that, you know, to go in. They want to go in, it's okay. In Sheepshead Bay, Rob Hoyle, Pix11 News.